Wapatuli is a tropical IPA, again, from Commonwealth Brewing here in Virginia Beach. It's 7.3% ABV. Oh, wow. Let's pop that open. It's, it's just filled to the very top. Here we go. Nice. That's, that's how you know they're looking out for you. Give this guy all the beer, all the way to Ooh, the top. That's a lot of head on that sucker. Yeah, man. Wow. I have to let that settle down for a second. I poured maybe half the can. Um, whoops. So right off the bat, it's a tropical IPA. The description here on the website is it's a tropical blonde wheat um, IPA delivering a sweet pineapple mango nose with island flavors courtesy of a carefully selected house yeast strain. Man, that's, that, that head's not going away anytime soon. Nope. Nope. Um, just, I might have to just power through it. Yeah, man. Take one for the come team. A, come with some. Come out with some foam in my nose here. <laughs> there you go. Not so bad. That's really good. Cool. I've had this beer actually about like four or five years ago. Um, when the brewery had like recently opened up, the company I worked with went there for a Christmas party. We had our Christmas party ho uh, hosted there, <clears throat> and I remember having this beer. And it's very good. So right off the bat, when you smell it, I get that mango. I don't really get the pineapple so much, but the mango I definitely get with the aroma. Um, but then taking that first sip, I do get a lot of the sweet pineapple. It was interesting. I, I read a lot of reviews about this, and not a lot of people were, were describing it as sweet. So I was, I'm, I'm happily surprised with this one. I, I didn't realize that. I learned something today about hazy beers. It just means that they weren't filtered. Yeah, yeah, exactly. This one's not super, super hazy, but definitely a little, a little haze there. Um, really good mouthfeel. The last one I had, the one I had last week, had that kind of soapy texture. The head on this one kind of gives that soapy sort of vibe too, but it doesn't last very long in my mouth, which is good. Which is good. Okay. Um, and a nice bitter aftertaste too. It's not very bitter up front, but you definitely get it. You know that aftertaste lingers. I, I'm a personally a fan of the the lingering bitter aftertaste. I like that with my coffee usually. Bitter aftertaste. For some reason. I'm the exact opposite when it comes to coffee, actually. That's so weird. But yeah, so I'm gonna try to pour a little bit more of this here. But <clears throat> I was doing some when when I saw the description said that they have a specially um, selected how so oh there's more of it yeah i don't know why that's so heady that's kind of crazy i guess that's what happens when they they fill it to the brim i don't know i didn't re i didn't read anything about that happening so i wonder if there's like something in the canning process that, that caused that to happen um but anyways they say that they um a carefully selected house yeast yeast strain so that prompted me to do a little bit of research and i'm just curious you know what's the what what happens if you choose different types of yeast for your beer? How does that affect the flavor profile? And it turns out that yeast is actually responsible for about 80% of the flavor of your beer. So depending on which type of yeast is chosen in the, to use to, within the fermenting process, you get a completely different flavor profile. So some yeasts ferment cleaner, quote unquote, air quotes, than others, which basically means they don't add much taste at all on their own. So oh. really brings forward those hop aromas and those hop flavors. Um, <clears throat> but other yeast will bring out fruity or spicy flavors depending on like their origin. So, um, I couldn't really find much description about like what type of yeast they were using in this or hops and things like that, but, um, definitely tons of fruit, tons of head on that, but tons of fruit flavors, very tropical as it's described, very nice mango aroma, very nice pineapple sweet taste with that bitter finish. So I highly recommend this one. It's been around for a few years. So, um, if you haven't checked it out yet, you're local to Hampton Roads, definitely swing by Commonwealth, pick one of those up, or you can find it. I found this in Total Wine. I think they have in one Wegman. So definitely out there. Go pick it up. Nice, dude. Awesome. Happy. How about you, man? Let's see what the what did the the uh, audience pick for you today, sir? Well, sir, we had a we had an interesting question for the audience today. 